I, my, my mood changes like so much. Anyways, I have an appointment with like a mental health group, mental health group that like helps you um, with like therapy and with like psych psychiatric diagnosis. So I'm just waiting for like an official appointment with a psychiatrist. So when that happens, I will let you guys know. <laughs> oh, he's gonna run screaming. <sighs> it's going okay, Stanley. How you been? Oh, foodie. Are you out here gaslighting your poor audience again? And instead of it being sciatica, oh, we're gonna gaslight with a diagnosis of mental health now hi everybody it's ray it's life and vibe oh my goodness that was foodie's uh live stream a couple of days ago she isn't posting as much she did say she was gonna be every other day miriam and so i guess she's going to live up to that <laughs> and she's not going to be doing a obviously a drop of a video and a live stream both um on the same day which he had been doing and obviously that is an opportunity for her to make a little bit more money but her live streams have started to get shorter the amount of super chats and super thanks the number of memberships and so forth that are being purchased are all dwindling her views are dwindling her subscriber count since the um, time when she was uh, in all that stuff with the cat that has seemingly come to an end because she's sat at a permanent 101 subs for quite some time now. And it is seemingly uh, her channel is just kind of hitting a real demise at this point. So who knows what she's going to end up doing that can be any more exciting than the content that she has been providing her audience but anyway if you do like my type of content make sure that you hit the subscribe and leave a like leave a comment you know people say i talk too much that's okay anyway let me just get my disclaimers out before we bring up miss foodie over here because i need to make sure that everybody knows that I am only going to be showing things and making sure that they are fair use. So, and then trigger warnings, of course, because we know that Foodie never provides any trigger warnings for her audience. So, we're going to make sure that we do that as well. So, I am going to make sure we bring up her latest video. And this video is called, we are going to be calling this video the shopping and iftar at City Center in Kuwait during Ramadan 2024. So let me go bring her up here. I've got it here. I got it here. Okay, here she is. All right, foodie, let's go. Let's hope for no cameos. I'm going to leave her normal speed because I like to see how she walks around. So I'm going to bring me down even smaller here. There we go. All right, let me get over to foodie. Hi, welcome back to another video. Well, hello there. Did you know that you can oh, request a private video from me made just yeah. for you that you no. can keep forever and ever? Yep, that's right. I can wish you all right. Yeah, first today and don't delay. Why do we always get hit up with these uh, B roll shots? <laughs> I mean, I guess it is fun to see it, but I don't ever know what street, you know, I just, you know, I know they don't want to give locations all the time, but just, I wish I had an idea. It's like a lot of tarmac I see on this. It's a lot of B-roll of roads with that music. It's just, it's not even music that's 
to the area like the middle east it's just like whatever free music you get on some type of app I mean, if I was closing my eyes or didn't know she was in Kuwait, I would think listening to this music, she was in Greece or Italy or somewhere in the south of Europe. This doesn't give me any Middle Eastern vibes at all. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not an expert on stuff like that. My thing is health, obviously. So, yeah. hates the traffic okay what we got here oh i realized i could actually continue to be able to be roll oh, pretty not sure about the salmon pink i'm not sure about that hey guys we're here at the city center Ooh. we're gonna pick up a few things Jesus, have a look girl. around i'm pretty wow she really has the it's a close-up here And obviously, oh my goodness, girl. You have a lot of filter, I'm thinking. And the lipstick's not very, I mean, foodie. We know you have a lot of filter, girl. And even despite all the filter and all the makeup you've put on, I can still see the redness of that dermatitis or whatever you have going on. And, uh, just, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, at least, the... okay, keep going, foodie. <laughs> Particularly looking for a silver chain for a charm that I found that was my grandmother's. So I want to wear it as a necklace. So the city center is like a huge center where you, there's so many things. You can get clothes, food, uh, housewares, all kinds of things. So yeah, yellow. Let's go shopping. Wow, that was so descriptive. I'm so, oh my goodness. Okay. As I'm making my reaction to that descriptive commentary of what's inside the mall, I suddenly glanced and saw Foodie crossing the street here. My goodness, girl. I, think you have put on weight since Canada. I've also seen a lot of other channels that post their weight uh, on their channels. Probably people who are maybe a slightly taller than you, but not much taller from what I can tell. Their weight is often in the low 300s. And they are a fraction of your size. <laughs> so if they're in the low 300s and look a fraction of your size, then obviously you're probably tipping more over 500 at this time. So I think gaslighting, again, everybody with your 370 weight is, again, just a huge lie and your vanity is at the end of the day probably what has you maintain that lie but you look huge you look bloody huge that's a medical term <laughs> yes i have no compassion at this point as a registered nurse for feeding at least she's getting a few seconds of walking in to be exhausted soon. Dreaming she could only fit into that. Close here. Mm, waddling. Waddle, waddle. Yeah. I bought a shirt from this place once. That blue one I have is from there. Once only, I guess, I mean, you have so few interesting outfits. Why are you not buying something new at the mall today? We'd like to see something different other than the black abaya. 
That would be nice. <laughs> We're getting kind of bored of that, girl. You look like you're in persistent mourning. Well, at least to see you're getting at least a minute's worth of walking in. At least it looks like if you made it around the mall, I'm sure you stopped. I'm sure you found seating. I'm sure you were exhausted. <laughs> oh, and I'm sure you sits allowed too to go and film all these parts while you were sat somewhere. <laughs> because everybody knows that all of these parts of the B-roll are never are are are, are Salau. So maybe I can talk over it. Let me keep let me talk while Salau film. But yeah. Oh, here she comes. Oh yeah. Well, it is Salau, obviously. Oh gosh. Is that for the feedies, girl? Having you come on to the camera like that? Oh. What? Right, I don't want to be too snarky. That that's pretty. Oh, they've got the core. This wood here, guys. This is what they make bokor with. Um, incense. Oh, deep. You burn it on uh, the coals. And they make fragrances also. All right, so we're going to look What's for a this? silver chain here at this store, <laughs> jewelry store. Sadly, we checked a few places, but we couldn't find one that had exactly what I'm looking for a type of real silver chain in my size, just the chain that doesn't come with the charm. So, well, can you have it custom made? I would think in the Middle East where there are so many jewelers and they specialize in this type of work that you would find one that could potentially have a chain made for you that would fit you and the purpose of the pendant <laughs> since it's special to you, maybe invest in it. I don't know. You may need to end up looking for something online, but you may not guarantee the silver. So it's just something to think about, foodie. Something to think about. And uh, I wanted to say that uh, why have you got feedy content out here with them filming you, waddling around? Keep going. Oh, I'm going to have to keep looking. So... Hopefully, in another sook somewhere in Kuwait, I will find one, I'm sure. No. <gasps> you almost got stuck between that thing, foodie. Oh, gosh. What you got in your hand? A treat? What's in your hand? What'd you get? And I wanted to know this types of scents that were on those incense because that looked very interesting i bet that smells wonderful over coals mm, i'd love to smell that that smells good i bet i was interested in learning more about that look at this cool escalator with no stairs on it what's in your hand what have you bought you bought something what'd you Me? buy <laughs> oh no she has to take the escalator up. But she's not going to be walking these stairs. <laughs> Uh-oh, she's up to the food. Oh, no wonder she's... So here's the food court. It's still closed until Maghreb time, which will be in about an hour. Also, oh, I want to say I got recognized in public by a fan. So hello to you. <laughs> Thank you for saying hi. I really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Well, if you got recognized, then why didn't you film the fan? Did the fan not want to be on camera? Or where was Salau at that time? Was he in the restroom and couldn't be out filming? I'm just curious. And obviously, oh gosh, girl, you do not look good in that chair. I just looked down. I'm sitting there thinking about what to say and I suddenly look at my paws and see foodie, girl. Your abdomen is on the table right here. That is wild. Why would you sit in a chair that has a 
Is that even close behind you? How is it that you have no idea that you are resting on top of a table? This is getting wild. And you look extremely swollen in your face. And you're an hour too early for iftar. So I wonder why you're up there. Oh, it's got seating. <laughs> and booty needed a rest. Because obviously they knew the court, food courts would not be serving food yet. It's too early. My goodness. All right, girl, but you do not look good. I don't think you need to be doing the food court. I think you need to be doing more low impact walking around the shopping mall. Tight squeeze, tight squeeze. All right, we're going to go get some snacks. It's an understatement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know I don't need snacks, whatever. All right, guys, we found an arcade, and because I'm a big kid, I love arcades. <laughs> Yeah, you don't need snacks. Oh, I want a cute, creepy bee person. Why are they creepy? They're not creepy. Oh, goodness. Does she even have a ball in there? She's a good one. So I just wanted to show you guys this fun little area they had here inside this gigantic shopping center. This is one of those things. Girl, do you have some sort of like is it like a cortisol issue or something? Because you got just a terrible hump on your back of your neck. You are very buffalo humped. Things you can <laughs> grab this heavy hammer and then hit it and try to get as much points as you can. And this, I don't know what that is. I think like a dancing station. And they even had a nice big full-size bowling alley inside and we do want to go bowling again so stay tuned for that hmm. why don't you actually play a game oh gosh we hmm. no come on we're leaving the foodie you are almost 40 Nobody needs to hear you go wee up and down moving walkways. <laughs> Gosh, girl. I guess it is because it's your time that you can be transported without actually having to move your body, really. you I know you love that. It is a struggle watching you walk, girl. I think it's a struggle to watch you walk as much as it is a struggle for you to do it. Keep going. The food court to go oh, do more shopping because we still have to wait and all I can smell is food and it smells so good. And I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Also this center. So... Your response to being hungry, about to go and get something to eat, and at this point, less than an hour, is to go to a supermarket with food? Why would you do that to yourself? You know what happens when you're hungry and you go into a supermarket? I'm sure everybody has experienced this, which is why I always find that I want to sometimes just get out the house and go to the store first thing in the morning, get it out of the way, get it done. But then I suddenly think, oh my goodness, if I do that, I am going to make some very poor choices around the store. I'm going to start buying things. I'm just craving. Most of the time they're not healthy. I'm sure you've all been there. So she's not going to be buying anything good. And I already see Snickers in the cart and what looks like Sunkist. There has a huge grocery store inside of sorts. And they had some good deals. So we picked up a few things, mostly just some snacks and some things at the deli, you know, like cheese, pickled beets, olives, 
and some deli okay. meat, stuff like that. Okay, this is terrible because all I'm seeing is packeted shit. <laughs> Pardon my French, but it's just nonsense. You're in a snack store on steroids at this point. This is not very healthy. I mean, it's a shame that the, I mean, I think I even recognize those cookies in that pack, green packet. No, maybe not that brand. But I'm just saying that you are making bad choices over here, foodie. You had the Snickers in there, the Sunkist. And now you're rolling over into the cracker aisle. Carbs, carbs. This is a, this is not a good time to be in the store buying anything. Gosh, girl. Oh, pack. This is me picking up these butter and herb crackers that I really like in soup. They're so good. And I thought this was cute. Ramadan decorated Nutella jars. Mmm. More packet. Wow, a lot of packet. Ultra processed. Wow. Yeah. Oh, notice the aisle that Foodie's in with Kit Kat and Reese's and all of this. I haven't seen her once inside of the fruit and veg department. And then the other concern I have is she said she's about to go get something to eat and it is going to have time that her meat and her cheese that she is picking up is going to be sitting out. And I don't think she has an insulated bag with her or anything. That would just be to carry it home. So who knows how long this meat and this cheese is going to be sat out before she actually gets it home. Though she does eat very quickly, I have to say, but still... It's going to take her more time to walk and over to those walkways to get up to the food court and uh, then for her to actually eat the food in the food court, of course. But uh, yeah, and you've got the Doritos in there. We see the Doritos foodie. I thought you were all pious about not purchasing items that were on the banned list. But you can't be being pious. I, I, that's the word I know. I know it's a Catholic term, but I'm just going to use it. You, you can't be all pious and stuff when you've got Doritos in your cult. That's very clearly. I mean, you can see the, the lettering. Everybody knows Doritos lettering, girl. Everybody. So these huge bag of sweets are sold for a traditional Kui celebration here during Ramadan called Yogeyan, where children will dress up in traditional Kuwaiti attire, such as Dara and Dishdasha, and will go door to door asking for candies and nuts. And in exchange, they usually sing songs and uh, are dressed up. And this is Al Rafai, same as Salah's family name. And it's a popular roastery here in Kuwait, Syrian. Did you pick up those nuts? Or did those nuts get put to the side? See, you're filming this in choppy times, and now we don't see the Doritos at the They have a huge the tang window. section here. Do you guys remember tang as kids? Mm. Girl, just crud. Ugh. How? So Salah ran back to the car. As just a reminder, Foodie is a unmanaged, uncontrolled, type 2 diabetic. So her having all of that processed, ultra-processed candy bars, all of those items, buttery crackers... None of those things would be recommended by her physician, the one physician that she saw in regards to her diabetes sometime, probably in October of November of last year. And since that time, mm, who knows who she's really been seeing.
car to put all the groceries in so we could eat in the food court and he caught the sun going down there was about five minutes left to maghrib time or when iftar starts when we can break our fast so i was waiting in the food court so why are you putting the meat and the cheese in the car at least inside of the mall it would have stayed chilled and you could have just ate and then gone out it doesn't make any sense to go well you know what happened he went out and put the groceries you're not out doing any of this walk that's what he said so i'll call it but why would you take the meat and cheese out that makes no sense wouldn't it still be like warm in the vehicle ah oh, i don't know girl that doesn't sound safe food wise we had already ordered the food and the sun was going down what a sight oh you didn't see on his it. way back in he captured some of the traditional kuwaiti clothing that children would wear for gurdan so cute i love it and look at this cute little mannequin <laughs> so they have these nice hand washing stations in the food court so i took it upon myself to give my hands a rinse with some water so for iftar we decided to try the uh, is foodie doing the shake and dry there because there's no uh <laughs> i i hope that is for hand washing because it would be terrible if that's where people get their drinking water i'm just teasing um just because foodie has no idea of any cultural practices and would be washing her hands in a place where people were probably grabbing their drinks from because she's no idea i'm just being facetious i have no idea either but goodness i'm glad to see she is washing her hands <laughs> even if she did do a shake and dry and there was no soap so but i mean i guess better than nothing there's an italian restaurant why are you heading to okay i get it i get it sometimes you just have cravings you get to you get to eat other global cuisine living in kuwait it's just a small food girl <laughs> i guess no matter what mall in the world that you travel to you're gonna find the italian restaurant the Chinese restaurants, you know, the smoothie shops, oh, probably the cinnamon bone place. <laughs> this Italian restaurant Donald's, of course. didn't serve Italian food. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. oh it's like a Chinese buffet, but it's got the grape leaves. It's got the puddings. It's like a buffet. Oh, it's Tiddy likes all that. It's got rice. What is oh is that some type of what's the yellow stuff? I'm curious. Oranges? I like the oranges. So for my meal, I had mall Chinese food. Spicy potatoes, chow mein, spicy chicken, a pomegranate soda, and some a side of grape leaves. <laughs> and of course, uh, they give you some dates to break your fast with and a ice cold bottle of water. I can't wait to drink that. Let me tell you. So yeah, Italian restaurant that serves um, mall Chinese and Salah opted for the chicken. Like I had some pasta bechamel and some rice and a orange Kinza drink. Well, great, because Salah looks like he's out on the way to take his pancreas as well, because that is a lot of carbohydrate. All that rice and pasta. Oh, there's no color, there's no vegetables. So he's not going to be very healthy either if he continues to eat in that manner. And then just, <laughs> I cannot believe. <laughs> this is awesome. Booty is sitting in a food court in Kuwait eating Chinese mall food, which, you know, you can't go to the mall and not have Chinese food. That's like literally like an unspoken law. And she is having it in a container that says Italian. Just 
just hallmark moments here, booty. The content is rich at this time, girl. It's really good. And water, of course, as well. Uh, oh, Lord. My goodness. Wow, that got loud suddenly. I'm sorry. If anybody suddenly had their ears blown out, I apologize. I'm hoping that my stream yard does some type of audio magic because that's really loud. She could not wait. At least she's drinking water. See, the one healthy thing she's doing. But still, this content is still a little bit dry. I cannot believe I'm in a mall. She's not showed anything inside the store, which I understand people may not want you filming inside stores because it looks like you could be casing the joint. So I get it. I get it. It's very quiet, which makes me consider that a lot of people in Kuwait are probably with family or potentially other larger gatherings. Or from what I've seen, there are many mosques, especially since the uh, Panini has come to an end and they are lifting restrictions. And so Iftar is now being able to be conducted in the mosques. And a lot of times there are organizations that can participate in being the ones to supply the meals for the Iftar. So I would think that there may be a lot of people in those types of locations rather than the mall. But that is potentially why Foodie is there, because it's quiet in reality and they won't have many people to have to see them there. So at least she's getting out and showing different places for her iftar. But so far we've had a parking lot in the rain, I think in front of the mall, but not actually inside of the mall because it was really raining. And then now we've got finally inside of the mall and we are inside of the food court. <laughs> it just doesn't seem very, I, I guess when you kind of want to see these things, and you want to see them in the countries and the locations. I guess you really want to get a vibe of the country, the color, the sense of where the people are. And all we're getting is a sense that Fuji is hiding in the most Western style locations in order to get a sense of home. Ooh. Food is just so brown. Oh, sorry, it's just for the uh, call of prayer. But, but so brown. No, no, I can't go on top of the food, though. Oh, my goodness. Girl, you can barely squeeze into that hair. Doesn't that just give you a wake up call? Let's dig in. No, you can barely fit into the seat. That should be embarrassing for you. Now you're looking at the pot. Here it looks like we have more traditional Gagayan outfits, this time mm. for girls and young ladies. Oh. Mm. is terrible. And that is just why. That's not. Oh. Hello. Oh, well, I guess it, it tried to do something there. Oh, no, it's cats. Leave the cats alone. Free Julia. Girl, these cats. Somebody's leaving. See, look, someone's taking care of the cats. Leave the cats alone. They think they're going to be given food by you. 
And the reason why they come out. A lot of cats. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, God, get away from them. <laughs> yeah, of course. What's the loud laughing? You love tormenting animals. Oh, no. They'll scratch you. Come. Ah! <laughs> 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 Uh, Salal for once showed a modicum of concern because I guess he knows that they could potentially have some tictimonias or some type of other or toximonias or whatever it is that the cats carry in their paws and could potentially toxinatosis. Is that it? Uh, I've, I've destroyed the word three times. No more actually showed a modicum of concern and, and told her to get away from the cats because they could scratch her. <laughs> and they realized that at that point they would be having to make a visit to the emergency room. And I guess he did not want to be doing that for the rest of the evening. <laughs> she cannot keep away from meddling with wildlife. Keep going in there, Fude. I would love to see what would happen to a scratch. Just what you need. I, I think that you should keep trying to pet the cats. I think it's a really good plan. I th uh, We want to see you petting cats. I'm disappointed with that supermarket run. You said, thanks for watching. So there's, what's it, seven seconds? What's left? Nothing. Just more B-roll. Well, the fountains. Okay, let me play out the last few seconds. I don't know if the music has any copyright. No, sure. Oh, I'm going to stop that. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, I tried to be as quick as I possibly can on that one because I know people are like telling me I talk too much. Sometimes I do. I understand. It's a reaction channel. <laughs> and uh, there's a lot to take in sometimes because, you know, there is the fact that she's sitting in a shopping mall eating Chinese food and waddling around, barely being able to squeeze into the seating they provide. And she is not seemingly having a wake up call. She is just laughing about it. Oh, girl, and that meal was very, very brown. Okay, well, I guess we won't see anything tomorrow from you since you are every other day, Miriam, now. But at least you got out. At least you gave us that type of content. So that's better than nothing, girl. All right, I'm going to finish this out. If you do like it, make sure you hit the subscribe, leave a like. The emoji is a shopping trolley from Foodie Beauty's Food Hall, a shopping trolley. So, yeah, leave me a shopping trolley. Okay, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.